Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Uh, Cubasis uh, 3 is what we're looking at today. And the second uh, tutorial for, for people beginning with Cubasis. So today we're covering the Media Bay, uh, basically. And uh, what you can do with it. Why you need, It's important to know what goes on in the Media Bay because it will help you manage Cubasis a lot better. Okay, so if you watched the other video the other day, you'll see that I have my dog default project loaded here like this and what we're going to do is move our default project into the templates you'll see that there are some folders here cinematica demos song ideas and templates i made one for cinematica which is a new album for me and colin and also song ideas which is got one in now i'm going to show you how to make folders how to move them around how to put stuff in but so first of all let's put our duck default project into the templates folder so we know what our templates are and then i'll show you some other cool stuff you can do okay so first of all you can't move anything that's kind of open you can't move a project so duck default is open so you'll see that if i highlight it sorry if i highlight that I can move it now because I've just loaded Nebula. Okay, but if I load it back in, I can't move it. Okay, so let's load Nebula, which is another project. Highlight Duck Default, hit Move, and then all we need to do is select the folder where we want to move it, and that's Templates. And you'll see they're both highlighted now, and then we just hit Move. And Duck Default will disappear from the projects and go into Templates if we open this. There it is, Duck Default. And also, you'll see that Cubase have also supplied some other um, projects for you to start with, sort of things, so piano and vocal, podcast and friend, etc. So let's load this back in. Let's go Doug Default and open it back up. And there it is. And let's highlight this again. And let's rename this now to, let's just call this something like Song 1. Okay. And now we have song one and in our project, in, in our templates, we will still have our dog default or dog default one if it's a copy to start again. But I don't want song one, so I'm going to delete it. Now, if that project is open, which it is, I will have to load another one, highlight this one and then hit delete. And that will put it into the trash. OK, now your trash will build up really, really fast. OK, if you're not careful, like, for instance, this this wave here. If I highlight this and hit erase, it's gone into the trash, but it's going to be taking up space that you don't need. So if we look in our trash now, in a couple of seconds, uh, this wave will appear in there. We can have another look around at projects while we're waiting for that to happen. There it is. Just takes a little bit of time. You'll see that I've got Doug Default 1, Song 1, and uh, this one, this Time Track 1. And we can choose Auto Play because we might not want to. We want, might want to go through a load to see what we've got. Anyway, uh, let's see. I don't want to delete this. I'm going to restore it, but it won't restore it back into this timeline. It restores it back into the audio media bay okay so if you're thinking well i've restored it now why hasn't it gone back in there it has it's just gone into your audio where you can drop it back right in, which is what we'll look at in a sec after we've deleted these so anything in your trash i would suggest you go in every now and then empty sorry and then go okay not delete you want to be emptying the trash let's go to audio and let's go to my audio files and there it is nebula track one Let's just drag that back up there. And yes, I'll convert it and there it is. Back where it should be. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to our projects. Let's go to our, let's see with our templates and let's go with Doug default again. And okay, and now we're back to where we started. So audio, let's carry on with audio. My audio files, as you've seen, is what you've uh, imported or saved as audio files. You can import audio files from elsewhere. So let's import some audio. 
let's import this uh, hit this import now and it'll ask you if you want to import from audio share itunes or your files okay so you can just import from let's import from audio share let's go and choose uh something from dean's noise candy let's choose this one and let's just import that into the app and it will have been placed in the media bay in audio there you go so let's go into our media bay and our audio files and you'll see that that's now been imported into the audio files for you to use you just basically pick it up and drag it in and, but we don't want that so let's erase this and let's delete this particular track and like i said in trash now it, in a sec there will be that audio file that we created that we just deleted will go into trash but it takes a few seconds let's carry on drum loops these are the ones that come with cubases to check track trash and there it is let's <laughs> Let's delete that from trash. Okay, so just one file, you can just delete it. Drum loops are what come with Cubasis um, for you to play with, basically. So switch, select one, hit autoplay. Okay, if you like one of those, you can drag it here and drop it like this and it'll place it onto a track for you and then that's part of your project sort of thing and that's an audio clip so again we can just erase that because we don't need it and it will end up in trash my audio files we've covered because these are the things that you can import or things that you saved or things that you've restored will be in your audio files my samples are samples i haven't got any right midi it's the same kind of it's the same kind of deal as your audio. Uh, these come with Cubasis and you can auto play them. And to import one of these, all you basically need to do is drag it onto a timeline there and it will place it in the project window. So let's just delete this, go back to our media bay classic machines these are your classic machine instruments now i will point out at this point that you can also just double tap on it and it will put it in there close this and then you can go and actually have a look at the instrument it's been it's been using like this so it's pretty easy in cubases to in cubases to put stuff in let's go back to our media bay again drum loops same deal and because these are midi these are you know freely tempo or signable and of course you can stretch the audio as well um so you've got and then there's my midi files of which there are none because i haven't but you import them exactly the same way you can import them from audio share the files if you've got midi files and they will end up in the media bay midi section like that moving down to instruments right okay this is where all the cool stuff is everything your uh, audio units your inter app your microsonic your classic machines which we've just heard some loops from so we can open this like this we can do that like that we can double tap on it now here's the thing let me go back to media and let's go back to like even microsonic and go to a something like a, a a tape quiz double tapping on this will not put it into your project okay so let's go to microsonic again to actually use the instrument from the media bay what you need to do is add midi right and then you can say double tap and that will select it there and then you can go and use the keys and or your midi controller if you like to play the instrument so it's a little bit different if you add a midi track from here so add a midi 
go to this, you can then go to list instruments and you can kind of do it like that sort of thing. So this second instrument, this one here, obviously you can see it's 10 brass. It's highlighted, so you can do it like that. So there are several ways to get instruments in. Okay, and it's the same with like uh, the mini sampler or also the Microlog synth. You could create a track or add, add a MIDI track if you want to do it from the actual media bay. Moving down again, we've got projects. We've covered projects. You know how that works. You want a project, you just load it like this. And then mix down is where you want to be mixing down your track and this is where you get several options okay so let's let's mix down this oh, we don't know mix where's that audio coming from not sure there so let's just erase that and erase this and erase this one and erase that one move this back here this is because i was adding stuff so it does actually add stuff but you really want to be creating separate tracks so it's not overlapping or adding it before you want it to anyway it makes sense if you if you do it like that right mix down we want to mix this down and we want to mix it down between the locators. So first of all, we'll go create mix down and it's going to ask us certain questions. Do we want to normalize it during mix down? That's entirely up to you. Do you want to include an effects trail? Here's my suggestion, mix down between locators, switch off effects trail, but make sure that your end point here, I shall move this along. Make sure that your end point goes past the end of the file so that any effects trail at the end here will be captured anyway between the locators because sometimes Cubasis calculates the effect trail has been really, really long and you end up with a big file that you then have to further trim. Okay, so when we've done that, we go create mix down, mix down between locators, choose your format, FLAC M4A, MIDI, Wave, start mix down, and it mixes it down, and there it is. And from there, you highlight it, and you can share it. You can rename it, you can move it, you can delete it. You can share it anywhere you like, really. It'll ask you, again, you can email it, audio share or more, so like, Dropbox, etc., etc. If we put this into audio share, it will just import the file immediately into audio share. Like that, and there it is, Nebula. And then from there, obviously, you can take it wherever you want. So let's go back to Cubasis. And finally, Trash, which we have now covered in detail. We just go empty. Okay. And it's done. So all that trash that we don't need is done. So hopefully, guys, you'll get a, a good idea of how the MIDI, the MIDI, uh, the meets and MIDI, the media bay works, and how important it is to, uh, to for managing your projects, your stuff, your templates. Create some folders. That's really handy. To make a new folder is really easy. You just go new folder, and you can create whatever you want. You can call it uh, whatever like this and then go okay and you've got a whatever template now uh, uh folder for you to put stuff in obviously there will be nothing in that but you can place whatever you want in it folders are really really handy for organizing everything <laughs> and, and stopping the uh the project window from being like huge don't forget to keep emptying your trash you know how mix down works instruments you know how it works it, it, it can be a little bit confusing but you know uh, stick with it i would suggest creating not creating instruments from the media bay itself i would suggest that you do the add audio or midi midi instrument kind of thing okay so and then you're much easier just clicking on this 
go into browse and then going all the way back to the beginning and choosing if it's an audio unit or it's a, a classic machine which is the drum ones you know like this and you can see them change here as you select them so it's really quick to do it from the actual um the track itself but since this was a tutorial about the media bay we, we, we you can do it from the media bay just it's a bit a bit more and like i said you the things to remember with audio and drum loops i think this gets a little bit confusing let's open drum loops if i double tap on a drum loop it it's added it right because i had a spare audio track but if i delete this this and this i'm not sure how this works but we're going to find out so if i tap on this it adds it at the beginning of the track or it actually adds it over the top you can then of course um move it but you would need to add another audio track i'm not sure a little bit small but we can move it outside that area but if you create a new audio track add audio we can then highlight this and then drop it onto that other audio track so that would make more sense that's why i had i was deleting all those audio tracks you double you're double clicking on them and you're not thinking they're appearing until you play it and it sounds like well what's that like for instance this one is put it now back on there and if you were to play that back, you think, God, what, what's gone wrong here? But it's just that it's placed the audio track. So make sure you've got an, a spare audio track created. It's, <clears throat> it's a lot easier and makes more sense. Listen, guys, I, I hope, I hope this was clear and helped you out a bit. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll put a link in for Cubasis 3 in the description of the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron from as little as a dollar a month. And I will see you guys later. Ta-da!